I'm here with Charlie from Modern Haunting. Yes. We just ripped through a fantastic set at the GBUFO gift shop and museum here in Green Bay. You guys normally push the bar when you're playing shows. Today you had some outfits. Yeah. You and Colin had some outfits. How, how do you typically pick what you're going to do for each show? It usually comes down to somebody making a joke in the group chat. Uh, today, actually, it was Colin. Colin found that at a, an antique mall like two days ago. And I said, I have some coveralls also, because I dressed up like Michael Myers one time. And uh, yeah, it was like maybe an hour before the show. I said, Colin, if you're wearing yours, I'll wear mine. And then I had this hat that kind of matches. So I'm sort of going as a Coors Light delivery man today. How did you get into uh, the show tonight with Dog Party and Bruiser Queen? Um, so, I mean, I've known Tom since, I mean, I was going to exclusive company to buy records when I was like eight years old and that's kind of how I met Tom. And then I was in a couple metal bands in high school that played shows at the Eagles club that Tom booked. So, uh, we just, you know, have always known each other and been on social media and stuff. And we played here on the 4th of July. Uh, we were celebrating my friend's dog's birthday that day. It was a good time. And ever since then, I, uh, Tom has just had such wonderful things to say about us, which kind of blows my mind because he's like the guy for Green Bay music. So, uh, you know, he asked us to do this. And obviously, I mean, I love playing in this type of room. And it's I come here all the time just to buy records and stuff. I love this place. And actually, weirdly enough, my dad used to work at a music shop that was in this building. So it's like I've been coming to this place since I was four years old so yeah you had a ghost of modern haunting past show up today as well for your set yeah uh natalie couldn't make it she's in california so jacob used to be in the band uh we called him up and such a professional you know he kept up he kept learning the songs because he knew one day that phone was gonna ring so he was ready to go here with Bruiser Queen. You guys are no stranger to the area. I think you first got on my radar at Mile of Music quite some years ago. Uh, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, what year was that? 14? Probably 15? Four, 2014. Like that? Yeah. yeah, Mile of Music is awesome. Well, you're, you're based out of St. Louis, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how did you get hooked up on this dog party tour? Um, they just they asked us if we want to do the Midwest leg of it. Yeah, they uh, came to St. Louis. We've been friends with them sort of over the internet and that sort of thing over a while. And uh, they came to St. Louis at P. Lander Z. Uh, last year at some point, I think. So just, you know, became mega friends and they reached out and asked us to do it. So yeah, of course we said yes. Of course we said yes. <laughs> <laughs> kind of nice touring with another two piece band. It's lovely. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just logistically it's a lot easier. Just drums in the same spot, guitar in the same spot. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And your opinions on the Green Bay uh, UFO Museum and Gift Shop? I know this isn't your first time here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we love this place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. We love it. Yeah, so much fun with the festival. We got to play the uh, GB UFO Fest last year. Um, sort of last minute we came up for it. But, yeah, love the shop, love the scene. Um, I think it's our, uh, I'll, I'm going to say something later about it. It's our 10th time in uh, Green Bay. So, yeah, so we love Number it. Number 10. Yeah. <laughs>